hey guys hope everybody is doing well i'm doing pretty good um i was just thinking i'm just uh resting in the lord by his grace and he's just bringing me to you know how when you're resting in the lord uh you know god is speaking to you about different things and different things are coming to your mind or whatever and your heart you know if you have a heart for god and for god's people so I was just sitting here kind of uh, ruminating and, and whatever and hearing from the Lord and, and listening uh, from thinking about a conversation uh, that was uh, that I had or that was that I heard or whatever. And I'm just thinking about how, you know, because I guess this coming just come to my attention again and you know when you hear something twice or more than twi twice you you kind of like okay well why am I hearing this Do, you know you take you, you pay attention because when you anytime in the word of God or in the Bible you hear Jesus say truly truly you better pay attention because he's you know telling you something that he wants you to hearken to right so um, I remember uh, this was maybe three years ago now, uh, two or three years ago now. And I remember I was listening. I used, we used to listen to this one, uh, and, and you probably heard me say it if you've been on this channel for a while, or this channel or my other channel. And I used to always talk about this <laughs> this so-called Christian radio station, and I was, you, you got, heard me talk about it, but you still hear me listening to it. Oh, my goodness. But nonetheless, I don't listen to it I, I, anymore. Um but I was listening to it one day and this guy was on here. He was talking um, and he was saying how he, he um, I, I guess he used to be suicidal or whatever his situation was. He had some type of issues, you know, some, you know, emotional, spiritual, whatever. So he was, you know, saying how he had, I guess he, he has a girlfriend and his girlfriend was going to church. So he had started going to church with his girlfriend. So he was talking about how it, good he felt. And, um, you know, he just felt different, you know, or whatever. And he said, yeah, when I go back next week, I want to give my life to the Lord. I want to give my, you know, I want to d dedicate my life to the Lord or whatever. And I was like, and that, that just, I just cried out because that made me so sad because, okay, he said that that's okay to say that, but none of them from that radio station that he was talking to, uh, said, no, 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 brother, you don't have to wait until, until Sunday or any day. You can give your life now. Now is the appointed time that you should give your life to Christ. And because that hurt me so much, I had to call them. They didn't answer their phone, but I definitely left that message on their voicemail. Nobody ever called me back, uh, of course. But I was so hurt by that. And I would, and that was two, three years ago. And I was just talking to it talking to a sister about it and I just wept again because that hurt me so much you know because people are too religious it's all about church 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 pastor 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 bible study bible study bible study tithing 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 and everything that the church is doing the church this the church that the church this the church that and it's like okay church whatever happened is where does Jesus fit into this church? Where in the world does Jesus fit into the equation of your life even? And he's nowhere. He doesn't fit in the equation of church because he don't fit into church, number one. And he doesn't fit anywhere into your life because you are too busy listening to the nonsense that someone else is teaching you and so-called preaching to you that you can't hear from God. I heard of somebody tell me that they are listening and I see it anyway because of these all these online nonsense that they are listening to to different online church services on a daily basis well if you are listening to that when in the world will god ever be able to speak to you if you don't shut yourself down like i was just telling you i've done now that this is a day that i've decided to do that uh if you don't ever shut yourself down how and when can you hear from god you because what you're hearing from people, you know, it, 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 no, uh, uh, those people and everything that they say is going to be contrary to 
Jesus and his teachings. They're contrary. They don't line up at all. They're divisive or, 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 or um, they're divided. They're not the same. Please hear me. Please hear us. This is what we're talking about. They're not the same. Take your time. Don't be offended. Don't be a fool. And don't be offended. Find out the truth. Find out what is the truth. Don't don't just say, oh, just just don't just throw away our teachings, our teachings of correction and reformation and, and confrontation and who Jesus. Don't just throw it away. Research. Find out if it's true or not. Look at things. You, you have a brain for a reason. Some of you are even scientific people. You work in, 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 in research and scientific uh, studies and, and in your medical and you're in medical professions. Yet your intellect is so far beyond, far below where it should be when it comes to spiritual matters. You don't just let someone be in charge of your spiritual life. That's that's not true. No, even God is not in, in charge in that manner. We are all free agents. We serve him or we don't serve him. That's just life. People have a right to serve. He doesn't make us do anything. You do it or you don't do it. Yes, there'll be consequences for what you do and what you don't do. But he does not make us do anything. He, we have a free will. Okay? So, uh, 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 con con compare and contrast that with your religious system and organization. Okay? How about that? So, what I was saying and get to get back to it, I just heard somebody else say, because like I said, the brother, young man said how it, he started feeling, he felt the way he felt. And someone else mentioned that again. I, my, 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 my antenna went up because they were talking about how they good they feel at church and church gives them peace and they, they like it. They, they feel, you know, it's about feelings and about emotions no, it's not. It's you. You can. You are feeling that, but you. What you're being, and I, oh Lord, this is all taken. I've I've made videos on this. What is what is happening? You're being lulled. You're being lulled into a sleep, into a stupor. You're being lulled into this this feel good feeling and 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 state state. You're being hypnotized. You're being brainwashed. That's what's happening. That is what's happening. And lulled is L-U-L-L-E-D. Okay? So that's what's happening. People are saying they're feeling good. I mean, you think God is a fairy tale? A, a, a fairy or something? Is he walking around with a, with, a, with a magic stick in his hand and cotton candy in the other? Is is he rainbow colored or, 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 you know, does he look like a unicorn to you? What do you think about God that, you know, this is a, God is not fantasy because many uh, uh, look upon God and view him as, as a fantasy. Oh, I feel good. Oh, I f it makes me feel good when I go to church. I feel good. You're not supposed to feel good. You know what I mean? I mean, not like what, you know, that's not what, you, you know, when is, when are you going to be sharpened? When are you going to, when is your heart going to be pricked? When will you be pricked? When will you be sharpened? How, do you ever feel sharpened when you come out? You know, all this feel good, and all of my friends are there, and people are there. Oh, I love talking to so and so, and oh, we we had coffee, and they, oh my goodness, they had marshmallows for the cocoa to, today. You know, you know if when they in times when you're able to go, although people are still going, I see some people around here, especially this Catholic 
place oh, not too far from here. The people are, are, are actually attending uh, these things now. But anyway, they oh yeah, they had Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, the one with the sprinkles on them. Oh my goodness, I love those. You know, all of this fellows they call it all, you call it all fellowship, but you're not, it's not a fellowship. Because you left the same way you came. If you were in a fellowship, you would leave differently. You know, you would be pro, uh, uh, provoked to serve God. You will be strengthened. You will be uh, to, oh my God, your sheath, your, your shield, uh, excuse me, not your shield, but your, 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 uh, your knife, uh, what do you call these things? That's in a sheath, uh. Oh God! Anyway, you know what I'm talking about—the the knife thing. You will that would be out of that sheath all the time because you'd be ready to cut off ears, heads, and everything that was not lining up with the Word of God was not lining up with what you know Jesus, who Jesus is, and what He stands for. You'll be ready to cut off everything. Okay, sword. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Your sword would always be out of your sheath. You'll be just at the ready with your shield in one hand and your sword in another hand, marching forward, just trying to take back, you know, everything that has been stolen from individuals. You, they, you'll be trying to get them, you know, snatch them back from the throes of hell. You'll be telling them what's, er what's erroneous about their life. You'll be leading them to Jesus. You'll be directing them, pointing him, them in their direction and whatnot. Uh-uh. Don't direct people to the church buildings. You direct them to Jesus. Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus is the one who died on the cross for us. Jesus is the one who intercedes and who is our advocate with the Father. Jesus is the one. Not your pastors, not church buildings, not tithing, not none of that nonsense. Okay? So... You better be careful that you have not been brainwashed and lulled into a stupor, a drunk again stupor, beloved, while church is making you feel good. It's not supposed to make you feel good. You're supposed to go there to be instructed, okay, to be sharpened, all right? There's, there, there's reasons why we come together. And if we're not coming together for the right reason, then you need to stop coming together. For real. We need to stop coming together. You need to fire the, your organization, your system, you, your religious system. You need to fire them. Okay? Anything and everything that's contrary to God must go. It must go. It must go. You Don't worry about people's feelings and all of that. Oh, well. If I leave, they're going to, or I'm the one that, that is responsible for. Uh, so it's either because what you're doing, you're, you're choosing all of that and everything over God. Because that's what you're doing. You choose, you're choosing everything else over God. You do know that, don't you? Because that's what you're doing. Even, even, uh, 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 I don't want to. I gotta leave that one alone because I gotta leave that one alone. But everything against God, I mean, uh, over God, because th there was one person that told me that they go to to this particular religious organization because their spouse likes it. Never mind that they don't like it. Never mind that it's not something that God wants them to do. But because their spouse feels comfortable there. That's why they go. So then, now, you have made your spouse your God, not God himself. Okay? Well, we got to be careful and watch what we're doing and saying. Life is too short. Uh, you know, uh, we just got to, you know, dig in there, and, you know, and stop uh, trying to make sense out of things and just obey God. Just obey his word. Don't listen to what your pastors and your preachers are saying. Listen to God and anything else. God said, let his word be the truth and every other word of man be a lie. 
do you, do you know the word? Do, or are you just too busy listening to everybody else that you don't have time to listen to God or to study your word for yourself? You know, stop and think about what you're doing here. Say la. Stop and think on this. Anyway, I'm done. I'll come back. I think I'm going to. Ah, well, never mind. I know what I'm going to do. So, uh, yeah. So I love you. Love you very much. And as always, we pray that you hear the word of God and the, the messages from his messengers. Uh, we pray that you will be comforted and blessed by the exhortations that you hear on this channel and on any other channel that may be exhorting you okay who may be exhorting you not people who are coming with foolishness talking about uh, so many other things that are so beyond the, the christ i mean i you know it's just ridiculous but we'll we'll discuss more of that um as time goes on have a great day bye bye for now